Yes, Sternberg spent a good 45 minutes with the media over Zoom this afternoon, reiterating his disappointment in the decision, saying the league just isn't prepared to jump aboard a project like this. So once again, the Rays are back to square one. Sternberg was asked directly if this split city denial increases the chances of the Rays getting relocated on a full-time basis in the future. People have advised me to do that, and um, maybe I'm worse off, you know, not having that advice, but I think introducing that, uh, you know, to an area is just not necessarily practical, and it's not necessarily fair to your fan base. Um, but, uh, you know, I never say never, but, uh, you know, it's not anything I'm thinking about. Now, remember, the Rays tried to build momentum for a full city Tampa plan starting in 2017. Sterberg said the needle did not move nearly enough for that to work out. This time around, he believes a pinpoint location isn't as important. The city is on better financial footing, and the fans' fear of the team leaving have risen. So what is this organization looking for to make Tampa or St. Pete the permanent home of the Rays? The most important thing, it was and still remains the support we see, um, you know, from sponsors, from from uh, from organizations, from companies, from groups, uh, and from attendance. That still is what drives it all. If that is there, building a stadium becomes a very easy, much easier proposition. Now it's time for Sternberg and company to meet with city officials and try to hammer out new ideas, partnerships, and possible solutions to make this thing work. The TROPS lease is up in 2027. If a new stadium is going to happen, they have to get wheels in motion by the end of next year, Josh. And it continues, Evan. All right, so what do local leaders who have been in talks with the team for years have to say about all of this? Tampa Mayor Jane Castor releasing this statement here saying, quote, all along our goal has been to keep the Rays in Tampa Bay. We had been working on both sister city and full season proposals. And now we can focus all of our energy on a full season. I am optimistic that the Rays will call Tampa Bay home for many years to come. St. Pete's new mayor Ken Welch said, quote, we are working with our county partners and city council to put together the best plan possible, which will work in conjunction with my planned evolution of the Tropicana Fieldmaster development proposals. With this collaborative approach, I am confident, he said, that we can partner with the Tampa Bay Rays to create a new and iconic full-time home for Major League Baseball in St. Petersburg, while also achieving historic, equitable economic growth. Just last month, the city had announced that the group selected to redevelop the Tropicana Field site is Midtown Development's proposal. It included adding a, a retail space, hotel, conference center, and also green certified housing. Taking a deeper dive, let's take a look back at how we got here. The Rays have been looking for a new stadium since 2008. That prompted the city to commission the Group A baseball community to start looking at a place to build a ballpark. They said somewhere from the Gateway area in Pinellas to downtown Tampa would be best to boost attendance. Fast forward to 2016. St. Pete gave the team permission to explore Tampa sites with a three-year deadline. There was a proposal in 2018 to build an $892 million Ybor City Stadium but no plans on how to pay for it. St. Pete then terminated the team's negotiating window. In early 2019, the Rays start talking with investors about a split season between Tampa Bay and Montreal. While the MLB gave the team permission to explore the idea, Mayor Rick Kreisman said not until the lease is up at Tropicana Field in 2027. Then in July 2020, the city asked for developers to give their plans to redevelop the TROP site with and without a stadium. You can check out the stadium saga online at 10tampabay.com.